ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Big Ski family. We made our way to the JH Ranch. And this place is very special and near to dear to my heart and Chad's heart and our children. It is a camp that my father founded 40 years ago this year. Yes. So 1979, yes. he purchased the JH Ranch. Yes. And I went as an eighth grader. My oldest brother, who was 27, was the director of the camp. Bruce Johnston has been the director the entire yes. time, to, even to this day. Yes. Started the first year. Yes. With they recruited all all year, and they were looking for to make a boys camp, and they recruited five girls. women, five girls, five girls, <laughs> five girls showed yes. up for the first summer at the JH Ranch. And now it is so packed out; they have a waiting list for every program. Chad takes he'll take the father son father daughter week, and when the kids turn about 16, 17, he'll take each one of our kids for a whole week at the ranch. It's unbelievable. And it is one of our kids' most precious memories with you. It's one of my most precious memories yeah. with them. The opportunity to spend a week in a very intentional environment that's structured to have you converse together about the stuff that matters and then share adventures alongside one another as you're having these conversations throughout the week. And it's just, it's spiritually enriching personally for me as a father. It's spiritually enriching for my young people. It's really tying heartstrings and connecting us and it is unbelievably impactful. There's a verse in Malachi that talks about turning the hearts of fathers to their children and children to their fathers. And what a blessing that is when daddies can have their hearts towards their children and children can have their hearts honoring and towards their father and their mother. I mean, there's a blessing of the scripture talks about honoring your parents and that building that relationships is, is really a big part of what JH Ranch is about. They have a lot of father, son, father, daughter, or parent, child weeks, yes. and husband, wife weeks. Yes, but this year we didn't, you didn't go to a father, son, father, no. daughter, you went to the... I went to a river guide reunion. Yes. When I was chasing Janice and trying to win her heart, I volunteered for a summer at the JH Ranch in 1992. And I was a river guide. I got the honor of leading campers down the river, the Klamath River, through the rapids. And that united my heart with a bunch of the guys who were also guiding that summer. There's a core group, there literally were 15 of us this year that, that joined together for a river guide reunion for four days out on the Klamath. And they get together every five years. So we haven't one, missed. Yeah. Literally, this was our fourth sequential five year reunion and just love these guys. These guys are my kind of men. It's so interesting that Lord led us to the same place that early summer in our early 20s. And now we're turning 50 and we're sitting around a campfire at night and every one of us going around sharing what the Lord has done in our life, what he's doing, how our faith is. We talk about our marriages. We pray for one another. We talk about our children who we've seen over the years now grow up. And I had the distinct privilege of having my son Baylor at the last two reunions, which is just such a blessing to have these older guys speaking into Baylor's life and Baylor just being a part of the, the experience for me was just compounded it. We got two days of white water where we were just ripping down these rapids. The second day we chose a uh, incredible rapid. This thing was really a, a class five, ended up being with the water levels where they were. First boat goes down, just completely pitches everybody, rolls the boat. The guys in the back were like, oh, we'll do much better. Sure enough, we even rolled fast, dumped everybody out, but we were jumping off bridges. What do you think, Baylor? Dude. I'm definitely gonna have to slow it to like, yeah. clear out and then tuck. Okay, whenever you're ready, brother. Son, Chadwick Buford. so good to be out here with these guys and it's kind of a tradition that got to jump Scott River Bridge or something right Earl we're here if you jump I'm jumping okay All darn right. it darn it let's do it darn it. <laughs> Wow. 
Meanwhile, we were back at the ranch. Meanwhile, back kids. at the ranch. We're doing Screaming Eagle, and Barrington was doing, he was trying to do a triple. Off the super off swing. Off the super swing. Uh, two and a half back post, kind of. On the super swing at JH? Yep. And what'd you think about it? Um, it was a back splat. <laughs> Show him your back. It was. Let's see your back, buddy. Little red. Oh, a little red. Was good. What would you do differently? Talk harder. Talk harder? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> I did the leap of faith. She did the leap of I'm faith. I'm totally afraid of heights that my kids were just like, Mommy, have you done this? And I'm like, no. Like, you're up there. So Easy. She's so nervous. What? <laughs> So proud of you. Janice wants us to do this uh, leap, but not didn't want to. No, You're doing I'm it doing for this Kimmy? for my kids. For your kids. Yeah, we're gonna do it Because together. we have to practice what we preach and we say Johnson's our participators. And wow. so I can't expect them to do things that I'm not willing to wow. do. So I my mouth it. is dry and I'm shaking, but. Wow, wow. We can do this, Kimmy. Kimmy. <laughs> Woo! All right, she's got this, huh? No worries? I'm freaked out. You're freaked out? <laughs> Yes. That's awesome. Proud of you, dude. Yes. All right, guys. Bear. Yeah, Barry Day. Hands up. Ready? Hands up. Yeah. How was that, Bear? Scary. Love it? Good boy. Bear, no issues? Nope. Yeah. No Bear, issues. Was that scary? Yeah. How was it, Bear? <laughs> Good? Oh, that's great, Barrington.
Folks will have a wild west with one, read about fearless lawmen like Wyatt Earp and such, but the real heroes that settled this great country of ours were just regular guys and gals like me and you, plain folk with big dreams for a new life. I'm here at JH Branch with some of my favorite people ever. <laughs> Chris, Dickie, and I went through Father Daughter last year and it was an absolute blast. And ever since then, we're besties for the resties. So that's yes. her. Emily over here, lovely Emily. <laughs> she <laughs> works on something called the Screaming Eagle. And what yeah. do you do? So I harness people in, get them all ready, all strapped up to fly 65 feet in the air down they feel like they're an eagle that's screaming and they um, have so much fun and I am so happy that I've gotten to strap your family in to yeah. let you all have She's fun. keeping us safe and sound out yeah. here. So we are very Comments grateful always to Emily always and the I got to spend some quality time with my oldest brother, Bruce, who um, took over the ranch when he was 27 and now he's in his 60s. And that was really special because we can both tend to be really busy, but we spent about five hours together just- So good. Taking me around and- Yeah, showing you the place. It was and great. our niece is up there, Mallory, and her husband, Payne, and their precious little daughter, Joy. And it's so fun to see the people we love on staff. The joy of being with the Ladukes and so many other people there that I'm not gonna start naming all their names that have been serving so steadfastly over the years to make the ranch what it is today. Thank you so much again for following along and we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good one.